Today, we take a look at my personal top 10 3D prints for the woodworking shop. Number 10. Sanding strips. If you have to sand in a very tight spot, these small-scale sanding blocks are a big helper. You can find a link to this and all the other models in the video description. Number 9. Lamello Distance Blade and Drill Guide. This Lamello Clamex connector is great for knockdown joinery, as it only requires a small hole and is basically invisible from the outside. To create the holes, I designed this drill guide. If you use them at a 90 degree corner, you can use the distance plate that comes with the jointer to combine two 4mm slots into a single 8mm slot that is required by the connector. For mitered corner joints, you either spend 180 bucks for an 8mm thick blade or two bucks for this custom-made distance plate that does the same thing as the one that comes with the jointer for mitered corner joints and creates an 8mm slot. Number 8. Keyhole Hangers. This is a very simple but quite helpful design that you can customize to your needs on my Thingiverse page. To hang a picture, just bore a right-sized hole and either press fit or glue the print in that hole to hang a picture. Number 7. Shims. This might be the simplest possible 3D print. I always have a few simple prints in different thicknesses at hand. This way it's easy to move the workpiece another 1.5mm closer to the table saw blade. Number 6. Corner Clamps. With four of these prints and a ratchet strap, gluing up picture frames and boxes gets easy and reliable. Number 5. Soft Pads for Clamps. If you are like me, the soft pads that come with your clamps seem to magically disappear in the shop. In this case, it's great if you can easily print a replacement. Number 4. Dust Collection Adapters. I use adapters of all sizes in my shop. They connect the large dust collection at my shop made table saw overhead arm. They connect different sizes of hoses and I even use some more complex Y-shaped adapters to split the airflow. Number 3. Edge Bending Trimmer. I found this design on Thingiverse and love it. You simply put the blade of a utility knife in a jig, screw it tight and it makes trimming edge bending super simple and easy. Number 2. Router Guides. My number 2 is actually an entire category of 3D prints that guide my router. I use this principle a lot, be it to create a simple drill guide, to create floating tenons or to cut very complex joinery. I have links to videos for each of those jigs in the description. Number 1. Knobs. The most frequently used 3D print in my shop by far is the adjustment knob. I need these knobs constantly for jigs and shop projects to make adjustments easy and to lock things in place. Buying them in the hardware store is not only expensive, but also takes quite some time. Having the possibility to print them with a single click is great. Although I recently upgraded to a larger 3D printer, all of the things in this video were printed on an ANET A8 printer that costs around 120 bucks. I will leave a link to this printer in the description and hopefully you got some ideas how to use a 3D printer in your shop. Please leave a comment if you have great ideas how to make use of a 3D printer and don't forget to check out my other 3D printing videos and subscribe to the channel to stay updated regarding new videos.